money hack, make sure that you include in your budget an allowed amount for self-care and self-love. Whether it be getting a massage, a facial, a pedicure, or even a long, hot bath, it's important that you learn to fill your cup so that you have the energy levels to keep going and stick to your budget. You need to be real and honest with yourself. So the beginning of every month when I get paid, I put as a priority my self-care beauty love and I will make sure that I get my eyebrows like shaped and maybe tinted, even maybe my eyelashes tinted, um, any waxing that's done and maybe like a file and polish of um, my toes and on my fingers depending on what things I've got going on this month. But obviously frugal February, I'm skipping it. I'm going to see as much as I can do myself to save money. Now, first stop, I'm going to have a go at dyeing my eyebrows. Every time I've tried to do this, apple pie has started screaming, but tonight is the night. I'm going to make this actually happen. Now, I bought this from the chemist. It was about $12. It's got 12 applications and each application, according to the box, lasts six weeks, which I doubt, but you know what? I'm willing to give it a go if it means saving money. It says you need Vaseline. I don't have Vaseline, but... In light of being frugal and resourceful, I'm going to use my Entota Nourishing Nipple Balm instead because it has the same consistency of Vaseline. Wish me good luck. I've even watched Chloe Morello's tutorial on this, so I'm in safe hands. Waxing, something that can be incredibly expensive over the long run, messy and time consuming when you think about booking the appointment, rushing to get there, waiting around. Anyway, this is my budget hack for saving money, particularly when I'm on a really tight budget for the month and I'm time poor because it stretches out the amount of time I need to go and get a wax. It's a Silk Appeal by Braun. It costs $100 or so. This is probably at least 10 years old and it really has saved me a lot of money. Now, some people use these on other parts of their body, which is perfectly fine. And it may initially hurt, but nothing that your body can't get used to. And as I said, it leaves your legs feeling silky smooth. So definitely one of my best hacks for you. Budget-friendly beauty hack, wear a white brim hat to protect yourself from the sun. Skipping the monthly mani and pedi to embrace short, sharp, healthy, clean nails. At home, a hydrating face mask to stretch out in between the professional treatments. Oh, and don't forget your neck and your decolletage is just as important as your face. I have a feeling this is going to be a disaster. And it ended up being more expensive to fix this rather than just saving money by doing this in the first place. I just don't think this is right. Baby frugal hack. When you have a bottle of, say, for example, serum that you think has run out, simply place the bottle upside down overnight and you'll be amazed as to how much more product comes out. You'll be able to get your products to stretch that a little bit longer and save you some more money. Now the budget beauty hack, water. At least two liters a day to keep your skin hydrated. Or even better, water with fresh lemon. All gone. I actually really want this to work because I'd love to be able to do this every month because this would save me a lot of money. Beauty hack, get a good quality sunscreen, 50 plus. Wear it every day as a preventative measure for anti-aging. And of course, don't forget your decolletage. I promise you I'm not naked in the car. I'm wearing a strapless bikini. <laughs> Make your own mineral salt bath for the perfect frugal night in. All right, I'm gonna share with you my skincare and cosmetic regime. The things that I do that keep me on top of my budget. Now, first of all, I wear a signature scent. As much as all those beautiful bottles look amazing when they're displayed on a tray or in your bathroom shelf, I actually just stick to one signature scent, which means I don't waste precious hard-earned money on perfume bottles which have expired. Next thing is, I actually don't wear that much makeup. I'll prefer to invest in tools to apply the makeup in interesting and unique ways, but I don't own much makeup. When it comes to wearing makeup on a day-to-day -day basis when I'm not filming, I will actually just stick to a tinted moisturizer, mascara, blush, bronzer, and some lip gloss. And that is it, quick, easy, and out the door. Next up is my skincare regime. I get my skin treated by Douglas Piera in the city on Park Street. 
he is amazing but he also makes his own products and he has some fantastic advice number one is actually get your skin properly diagnosed someone should have a look at the skin and prescribe something for you number two is consider investing in products which are cosmeceutical because they're scientifically proven number three is also if you can make sure your ingredients have active ingredients so they're actually really working for your skin number four remember a little bit goes a long way you shouldn't have to be smothering and smearing too many products on your skin you want to be able to properly massage it into your skin so when it comes to my skincare regime where I'm happy to spend a little bit more money is actually in the serums because they're the ones that do most of the heavy lifting when it comes to anti-aging pigmentation scars sun damage and so forth so little things like making sure that you're using a vitamin B serum really important making sure that you're using peptides as well. And these are actually all of Douglas's products. I wanna feel good about my skin and it's something I'm actually prepared to invest in. My mother used to always say to me, it is well worth investing time and energy taking good care of your skin. And she has the most incredible skin. I really wish I had listened to her more often. She also used to say to me, you don't necessarily need to go out and buy the most expensive products on the market. There are plenty of really good quality products, reasonably priced, that are scientifically proven, that really work. But always do your research before buying anything and make sure that your skin really glows when you wear it so that you know that you're getting the right benefits from that product. Now, just like Douglas Piera says, exactly the same, but he also says it is worth investing your time going to see someone about your skin, whether it be at a clinic or a counter of a department store. Let someone stop and ask you questions about your skin. Let someone look at your skin, touch your skin, and ask you about what your concerns are. So that that way they can put together the right recommendation. Would it be the right blend of products or the right schedule or regime for your products so that you can really get the most out of your skin. And if you go and invest in a good quality product, it, you get your return on your investment. Now it's really funny because I'm actually using Clarins Beauty Flash Balm. And I remember when I was a little girl watching my mum apply this. So I hate to think how many years this has been out there because I'm starting to feel really old. Actually, maybe I need more wrinkle cream. But you know what? This is a testament to good quality products. Yes, it may cost a little bit more, but for me, it is well worth the investment. I have a greater appreciation of people who do this for a living. This is hard. Even more frugal, make your own hydrating face mask with natural yogurt, avocado, and some honey. I'm not gonna take the risk and do this to my eyelashes because I have a feeling I've done this all wrong. Want to know a really good hack for saving money on self-care and beauty? And I promise you, this is not sponsored at all, but Groupon. Groupon have over 275 different specials going on at the moment for around health and beauty, ranging from eyelash extensions, cosmetics, fragrances, hair care, massage. They even have sexual health under bondage, fetish, lingerie, and toys. Now there's some good savings. Plus, if you join Cash Rewards, you also get money back and potentially even bigger discounts with the already heavily discounted services through Groupon. Amazing. Another brilliant beauty budget saving hack. To reduce the amount of wastage of products that you buy that you never end up using, keeping in mind we spend three and a half to five and a half thousand dollars a year each year on cosmetics and skincare. Go and watch your favorite YouTubers use the products that you already own. That way you'll get more usage out of your existing products. You'll waste less money and you'll contribute towards less landfill, particularly when you think about the packaging. At home treatments, like a simple hair mask so that you don't need to get your hair cut as often. I don't think it's been amazing, but I think it's been pretty good. Considering it's my first time, I'd do this again. I think I might need to watch Chloe's tutorial a few more times. Well worth $12 investment. Mm. Not brilliant, but definitely worth the savings. If you happen to have a special event coming up and you also need to replenish some of your favorite cosmetics and skincare products, 
why don't you go and book in for a makeup application or even a lesson? That way you can redeem the cost of the lesson with products. And also you may actually pick up some really handy tips along the way. Mm. Home care teeth whitening kit. Want to know what happens when you don't take off the eyebrow dye and go to bed and let it sit all night long? I have Bert Newton's moustache above each eye. Yeah. Now, instead of having a bit of a meltdown, I'm just going to own this. I'm going to take full ownership of my big, new, beautiful, brown, bushy brows. Yeah. And I'm going to share with you on this note, because this is proof this works, but this is the reason why I'm in this predicament. This is simply castor oil. Castor oil is really cost effective. You can get it from most chemists and it has been used for thousands of years. Now, the reason why my eyebrows are looking so much bushier is because they have been, I've been using this every night, putting it on my brows. And so the, the dye has picked up all the new strong um, hairs in my eyebrows. So it's a testament that this actually works, but it is a brilliant hack and so much cheaper, so much more natural and cost effective than all those expensive lotions and potions and serums that swear that you'll have like super long eyelashes and eyebrows overnight. This is a testament. See, it really, castor oil really does work. And my most frugal beauty budget hack of all, a good night's sleep to replenish our cells.